Do you believe that it's possible to bring something from the world of the formless, from the world of a dream, into the world of the physical? Most of us were raised to become ordinary. Ordinary is you go through your life and you fill out the forms and you pay your taxes and you do what your parents tell you and you're honorable and you're honest and you're a good citizen and then you die. Extraordinary is something very, very different. This is about recognizing within yourself that there's something very, very extraordinary that you haven't been trained to believe in, to come to a place where you can apply it and put it into your life. You can go way beyond ordinary. You can go way beyond just being average. Here's the big challenge of life. You can have more than you've got because you can become more than you are. Unless you change how you are, you'll always have what you got. If you want to live in your passion, whatever your passion is, you have to be willing to not make money at it. Yeah. You want to do what you love, you got to do, you have to, you, you have a choice. You can yeah. choose money or you can choose what you love. My parents, and I'm sure like most people's parents say, get a good job, try and make some money, make a good living. Yeah. And because they, they think that's secure if you make go and make money. But if you do a job and you make money, you lose that job. Yeah. And you lose the money and you have nothing. If you choose your passion, yeah. it actually doesn't matter whether you make money or you lose money because you're always going to have your passion to be happy. So it doesn't actually matter. And that's your safety net. Right. And, and, but the challenge of that is that it might be eight years or four years before you're actually making a living at it yeah. versus, versus something else. Most people go through life using up a very, very small part of their potential. And so anything you do that invests in yourself, uh, is, that's the best investment you can possibly make. And then I would, I would follow my passion. I mean, whatever turns you on. You know, I, uh, uh, I, found, I was lucky, I found something early that, that turned me on. But, but uh, you don't want to take a job just for the money. You don't want to take a job for an organization that you really don't feel good about or work for people that you don't feel good about. You, know, you really want to be excited when you get out of bed every morning. And it won't necessarily be the job that you have 10 years later, but you'll be learning so much as you go along. And you know, I, I took a job with Ben Graham, my hero. You know, I, I never asked the salary, and I found at the end of the month when I got my first paycheck what I was earning because I just knew it was the right thing to be, to be doing. So follow your passion.